In the head-to-head -head series, I show you two different patients with two different diseases, but a similar radiologic appearance. Today's topic is a mass in the central skull base. This is patient one. This is an elderly man with a headache. You can see that there's a lot of fullness here just below the central skull base. And if you look at the bone window, there's a lot of erosions along the anterior clivus. This nice cortical rim has been disrupted. This is still patient one. Now we're going to look at an MRI so you can see what the extent of T2 signal abnormality is. And you can see what the extent of abnormal enhancement is throughout the central skull base. This is a post-contrast spoiled gradient recall image that just gives you a sense of how far laterally and inferiorly this mass extends. Here's patient two. Once again, this time on the left side, we have a lot of fullness in the soft tissue right at the skull base, and you can see erosions along the anterior clivus. A breakdown of that nice cortical rim gets ratty and disappears entirely out here. Again, erosions of the central skull base and a soft tissue mass. You can really see the disruption of the fat planes here on the affected side. Here's the associated MRI still on patient two. We see abnormal T2 signal all through that soft tissue and through the bone, and really extensive enhancement crossing midline. All of this is abnormal. So here they are right next to each other, patient one and patient two. Now would be a good time for you to pause the video and see if you can figure out what two diseases these two patients have. These two patients look very much alike, don't they? When you see an elderly individual, usually elderly men, with erosion of the central skull base like this, there are two things that you need to consider. Nasopharyngeal carcinoma and infection. And even a bacterial infection of the central skull base can have an erosive appearance. There can be osteomyelitis associated with it it can look very aggressive, as can nasopharyngeal carcinoma. There are few good ways to tell these apart, and I think that in this demographic group of older men, you need to consider both of these options in most circumstances. Are there specific things that clue us in? Well, I specifically chose two cases where there's a lot of overlap in the radiologic appearance. You might have noticed that the internal carotid artery was compressed in patient number two. That's pretty uncharacteristic of infection unless it's inducing vasospasm. Um, uh, which happens less in the elderly. So I, I think maybe that's a clue, um, but otherwise these look almost the same. It turns out that patient number one has osteomyelitis of the central skull base. This was a bacterial infection. And uh, patient number two has a nasopharyngeal carcinoma that was beginning to erode into the clivus. But the teaching point here is that these can be very difficult to tell apart. And even if I end up preferring osteo or preferring NPC, they usually both end up on my differential diagnosis.